Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent Sensi consultant with Happily Scented Life, and I'm back today with another weight loss, keto, low carb, high protein grocery haul. So I went grocery shopping the other day, and there were quite a few things that I did not finish up from previous weeks that I definitely wanted to finish finish up this week to kind of lower my budget. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got to eat for the next two weeks. So everything on this table is going to last me two weeks. That's what I plan on and that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> All right, so I'll move my trash can out of the way. All right, so for breakfast, let me try to get this there we go. So for breakfast, I really wanted avocado toast. So I ended up buying this um, keto bread a couple days ago because I did like a last minute run to the grocery store for lunch for work because I was in the office two days this week. Um, so I ended up grabbing this. So I did use some slices already, but I want avocado toast. And this Arnold bread, the keto one net carb, so it's 40 calories and one net carb for one slice. Um, it's really good. It does not taste bad at all. So I'm gonna have that with some avocados that I picked up. They're perfectly ripe. And then eggs. And then um, also another thing that I usually grab is these ham steaks. They were actually on sale at my grocery store for two for $4. So for $2, this is technically like two servings for me and I'll just fry this up and have it with like a scrambled egg or something like that and then the other thing that I grabbed for breakfast because I still have half a bag of each of these flavors of granola which these are extremely good if you are on a keto or low carb journey because they're only two net carbs for like a quarter cup I think oh no a third a cup it's 160 calories but Honestly, you really don't, if you're sprinkling on the yogurt, you really don't need that much. Sometimes I don't even use a full serving. Hence why I have two <laughs> half bags still left. So I got the vanilla strawberry and I have some of the cinnamon pecan. Um, so I like to have that with my Chobani zero sugar and my Ocos, I probably say that wrong, triple zero. These are protein yogurts. I love having these because it really sustains my appetite and all that stuff. Um, so I just got an array of different flavors. So I have the banana cream, which is like my absolute favorite. I've got two of those. And then I have the salted caramel. This one is so good. So, so good. Um, lemon meringue pie. Um, a strawberry. A raspberry. A key lime pie. And a blueberry. So an array of different ones so that's what we're gonna do for breakfast then for lunch i've got a couple different options here i'm gonna try to flip my camera so that way ah oh, much better much better no i don't think that's gonna go because i think there we go i don't think it's gonna keep it in focus i don't know we might have to edit this portion out of the video okay so for lunch um I had, what was it right here? I had tuna fish cans still left over and I still have relish and I have carrots still. So we're gonna do some tuna fish. I probably won't put it on anything. If I have any of this Arnold bread left, I'll probably put it on that. I know I've got a couple um, Joseph Lavish flatbreads. I know I've got a couple of those still left. Um, so that's one. This is that chicken salad that I was talking about that I just randomly grabbed from the grocery store. I like getting this because it's low carb and then you can just throw it on whatever. So I'll finish that up. And then I do have my cukes. Love my cukes. Love my mini cukes. And I dip them in the chive whipped cream cheese. I also picked up a block of Monterey Jack cheese to cube up to have with my lunch. And then the other thing that I'm going to finish up is because I had half of the original whipped um, Philadelphia cream cheese, I wanted to make my pizza bowls. So pizza sauce, mini turkey, not turkey, sorry, mini pepperonis, 
and some mozzarella cheese. I just like make a mini bowl. I also have black olives, I think, in my cabinet. So I'll just make that as a little bowl, heat it up. It's really, really good. So you just, you just eat it. Okay. Then for snacks to kind of put with the lunches, I have all these bags of nuts left over that I got to finish up. So these were, these two right here, this nice brand, these were ones I picked up at Walgreens. So we've got the roasted pecan blend, which is salted roasted pecans, almonds, and cashews. I mean, 180 calories for a quarter cup, and it's only three net carbs. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. And then this one is roasted salted cashews and macadamia. And this one is 170 for four carbs and a quarter cup. And then I have this. I think there's like a handful left in this bag that I got from Walmart. This actually was not really that expensive. I think I paid like $2.98 for this bag. And then can't go wrong with my Harvest Snaps, my white cheddar pea. I love these things. I do half a serving, you guys. So one serving is 22 but I do half a serving, so that's 11 because I usually have the nuts with it. And it's six carbs for 11 of them for half a serving. So not that bad. All right, now meals. So I've got a couple different meals here for dinner. So I love set it and forget it meals. Um, so love Campbell's cooking sauces. They have an array of different ones to choose from, but I really love the sesame garlic to put with steak and veggies for like a Chinese stir fry. Um, it's not that bad macro wise. So 40 calories for a quarter cup and nine carbs, but honestly, you're not really eating this whole thing. You know what I mean? So, and then I got this cube steak and broccoli. So that's going to be one. And this is probably like two meals for me, maybe three if I stretch it. All right. Second meal, um, I'm breaking this up into two separate um, dinner choices. So this is just a pound and a half of chicken um, tenderloins. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the package up and half the package is going to get this black garlic Parmesan marinade. Oh my God, this one looked so good. Um, so I'm going to have that. And then the other half is going to be this lemon pepper ranch. I think that's going to be so good. And I do have quite a bit of bags of frozen corn and also green beans. So I figured I could just put, you know, those with these as a side. And then last but not least, this is like my hyperfixation meal that I can't get enough of. I originally did this last week with veggie burgers, but the grocery store I went to to get this stuff did not have the correct veggie burgers. So I opted just to get normal burgers. So these are just um, prime rib steak burgers. There's four of them in here. So I can do this meal four times. So it's my Big Mac bowls. So it's my Big Mac salad. So you just take one of these, season it however you like your burger, put it over a bed of lettuce. I don't use the dressing packs that are in here. Um, I do use the Parmesan cheese, but I don't use the Caesar or the croutons. What I do instead is I mix about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of this uh, Taco Bell Chipotle sauce with a tablespoon of mayo, and it makes Big Mac sauce. And then I'll just sprinkle some triple cheddar um, cheese over it to make it like a Big Mac bowl. So that is everything, guys. So honestly, like you don't have to overthink meal prepping. You just have to take your favorite foods like pizza and alternate it. And like I said, I love toast in the morning and I wanted avocado toast. So I found a option to have that avocado toast. Oh, I forgot to show you this, guys. Um, For drinks, I found my tea. So remember how I always say on my channel that Mandarin Moon reminds me of this tea? This is the tea I'm talking about. Celestial Seasons Mandarin Orange Spice. This is what Mandarin Moon Scentsy Wax smells like. So I got that because I found it at the store. 
And then for my coffee, zero sugar caramel macchiato. I didn't have to buy any ground coffee because I'm still using up the bags that I previously bought a month ago. So we are good there. But I hope you guys liked my grocery haul. Hope it gave you some ideas on what to get for yourself. And I'm shaking the camera like a mofo. I apologize. I'm going to try to get a handheld thing here soon since I am going to be doing more of these videos on my channel. So hope you guys liked the video. Talk to you later. Bye. I just realized after editing the video that I forgot to show you guys the French onion soup that I bought. <laughs> I was putting everything away and I was like, I don't think I talked about the French onion soup. <laughs> <laughs> so I did grab a French onion soup. I love French onion soup. So I figured why not have it? And it's not even that bad. Like 70 calories for a half a cup, right? And it's 11 uh, carbs. But that's not really bad if that's what that's the only thing you're gonna have for, for for lunch. And I figured because I got the toast um or the bread, I can make a toast and put some of the mozzarella um or the Monterey Jack cheese, like shred it on top of it, and it will be like you know, like French onion soup with the bread and, and the cheese and everything. So yes, so that's my idea there. So I'll edit it this back in the video somehow. Hot mess, Amy. Sorry, guys.